Hey, and welcome to Teaching After Effects. In this series of tutorials, I'm showing my wife how to use After Effects. And we don't row. We edit those bits out. In this episode, we are doing Summer for Winter. We've got this great scene, a lovely drone shot of a Swiss Valley that we got from Pixels, which is a fantastic... What did I say? Pixels. Oh, sorry, Pexels which is a free, royalty-free image and video bank. So it's got some really useful resources like this one. And what we need to do is figure out a way of replacing all of that lush green with snow, making it a crisp winter's day. One of the benefits of doing this approach is we'll be using mainly color correction techniques rather than camera tracking, rather than recreating the valley in 3D or anything like that. So it's it's quite a simple approach. I think the first thing we need to do is remove the green. Mm -hmm. um, and let's just keep things organized. Can you click on the layer mark Swiss, please? And hit enter. And rename this, we'll call this, I don't know, keying layer, because we'll put the key keying on here. And it'll just make it easy to refer to later on. We're going to use a preset Adobe have built in, which just makes things so much easier. So using effects and presets, can you search for keying? There, you see that one that says key lie dot 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 oppressor. Uh -huh. Double click on that. And that adds key light, key cleaner and advanced spill suppressor. But advanced spill suppressor is turned off for the moment which we'll turn on when we set our green. Using the screen color eyedropper, as click and select the green. And that has done its job. Now we've got nothing below it right now, so it's all gone to black. So it looks like something out of Mordor. Um, if we now turn on advanced spill suppressor, you'll see what that does. Uh, click the little black square where next to the word advanced oh. and that puts the effects on so it just sort of counteracts any overbalance if this was in a green screen studio you'd get some reflection on people's skin and advanced skills uh, spill suppressor removes that right okay so obviously yeah it's it we need to do our winter layer next mm -hmm. so selecting making sure key layer is selected either hold control and tap d or go to edit and duplicate and that's made a copy. First, let's rename keying layer two, hit enter. And call this snow. Okay, and delete the three key effects that we've got on that layer. So the three effects we've got, just click on them and delete them. Right. Okay, so now we're back to this. What we need to do now is get rid of all color from this layer. And the easiest way to do that, I think, is using the saturation controls in hue saturation. Okay. Just this one? Just that one. On there like that? Yeah. Now, if you now grab the saturation uh, control and drag it all the way down to minus 100, uh -huh. we get black and white. But obviously we've made that to the whole image, but we've just spent all that time keying out the green. So if you grab the layer snow and drag it below keying layer, there, we're getting a sense of what we're actually putting together. And right now it kind of looks like some sort of colorized black and white photo, doesn't it? Uh, what we need to do is take all of that gray and make it lighter. So... You could do that in lightness. I was going to suggest we added... <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. Uh, you just leave it, it's fine. Why don't you just add the curves effect is what I was going to suggest, oh. which you'll find in color correction. Or you can search for it there. And the reason I'm suggesting curves... There we go. Into the effects panel. Try that instead. There we go. And right. you're familiar with curves. So what are you doing here? Because you've just got and dragged that. And if anybody's not familiar with curves. Don't throw me. Don't throw me into answering how I curves know, but work. If I just <laughs> jumped into it, you would have told me off. 
So it's really quite effective already. Oh, it's kind of brown. It does, yeah. Now, I think if you solo snow, you'll see that that's not the curves effect's fault. Uh, that's what we've done. So that, again, we seem to be going through like eras of photography here. This, uh, so all of this is happening because of the keying layer. Right. And if you click on the keying layer, so let's add its own hue saturation to this layer and we'll tone down some of those uh, sandy colors. Saturation. Yeah. And you can just double click on an effect as well. You don't always have to drag it in. So just, I don't think we can do anything adjusting the hue here. Just drag the saturation down until it starts looking normal. Now it's having a benefit actually, because if you notice the sky mm -hmm. before was a really vivid blue, but we're going to add some snow to this later on. So actually, pretty much takes care of the snow for us. Mm -hmm. About that. Yeah. So what do you think so far, taking a look at what we've got? I like it. It's a shame that it's faded out the train because it works when it's faded out the buildings and stuff. Let's duplicate the layer again. Let's see if we can... I think what we're going to have to do is cut the... Duplicate this layer. Duplicate either layer. doesn't really matter which one because we're going to delete all the effects off it. Right? Oh, no. Keep going. Oh. So let's solo this layer. That's a really vivid red. I think we could actually key that red. But of course that would remove the red from the scene. Mm -hmm. But we could then use that removal to as a an inverted alpha mat. So we could have another train layer below it, which shows it up. If you quickly drop key light on, I'll show you what we're going to need to do. But we're gonna it's going to take some prep to get there. Key. Just key light. Mm -hmm. This one here. Just that one there. Just double click on it. Yeah. Oh, there. Right. If you click on the eyedropper and pick the red of the train. Okay. So that has, <laughs> that has removed the red from the scene. We've soloed it. If you click on the little checkerboard, that's what that's done. Right. Okay. So what we could do now is if you duplicate train. Duplicate. Control D. And on the train, on the original train layer, delete key light. That's us back, sort of, except it's a bit more vivid. Now, if you go to the track mat, do you remember we looked at track mats a little while ago in an earlier video? If you go to the track mat and choose alpha invert mat, we keyed out the red right. and then we've used that inverted to give us just the red. Okay. Unfortunately, though, it's also given us because the whole rest of the image. Uh -huh. So the only thing I can figure out that we can do here is an animated garbage mat. Okay. So a, a garbage mask, I should say. So if you go to the mask tool, click on that. Right, this might be easier if you turn off alpha inverted mat and we'll put, yeah, and we'll put it all back on later. So now draw a mask around the train. If you hit MM to expose the mask controls, MM quickly. Yeah, just like my dad does it when he's tapping on an iPad. Shush you. <laughs> set, <laughs> set a keyframe for the mask path. And it's a train. It's not exactly sort of doing much, but the camera is moving. I think probably the easiest thing to do now is if you change where it says mask one add, change that to none. And what we need to do, and we've done this in another video, you need to move, say, four or five frames forward. So page down five times. And then zoom in and redraw, move the mask points to recover the train. Is that, <laughs> isn't there a way for the computer to do this instead of me? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. We could give it a go anyway. <laughs> I'm making tea tonight now, aren't I? Yes, you are. <laughs> Let's go to window. Let's see if this will work. Window. Window tracker. And yeah, we could do a mask track here. The mask's quite 
big around the train, so we might need to redraw that, but that's like a second's work. So um just just click play. Yeah. Yeah. If you go onto mask one and set it from none to add You'll see we've, we've cut out the train and we've pretty much cut out the train without needing, well, uh, without needing to do very much. But obviously there's a little bit of green in the background. Now, we were talking about this while it was tracking and we could probably just apply the key to that again to get the same effect going on, mm -hmm. to, to remove the green in the same keying way. But if we do it the original way we were talking about doing, at least we're showing you a different technique. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So, delete train 2. And now duplicate train. What we now want to do is go and just add key light to that. I suppose we could try using the whole suppressor, but I think probably just that. And if you use the eyedropper tool and select the red. Now, somewhat confusingly, we've also got the other train layer still visible underneath, so nothing really much seems to have happened so yeah exactly that's what we've done we're going to preserve the windows and as it happens we're preserving the green but that doesn't matter because what we're now going to do is in the track mat for train oh, yeah. yeah select alpha inverted mat there we go right. and so that has left only the red from that layer Got a bit of a hazy halo. Oh, oh, right. The top, the lumen layer is not cutting it out completely. So I guess what we need to do is tidy that up. Solo remove red. Turn it on and then solo it. What we need to do is make sure that the solid bits are really solid and the transparent bits are completely transparent. So to do that, expand screen matte. And you've got clip black and clip white. If you expand those, what we want to end up with is basically half of this black and half of this white. So, uh, oh, if you change final uh, view from final result to screen matte, you'll see what we're actually doing. Okay, so that's the problem. That's why we're seeing some of it green, because actually some of it's gray. So we need to get rid of all the gray and make it either black or white. So drag clip black. There you see, and drag clip white down. Yeah. Okay. Screen. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Actually, we could have left it on uh, right at the bottom. We could have left it on screen matte because we could have then just used a luma matte instead. So now and then turn that layer off. Is no, that... it's worse. No, is this this feather? Oh, still got a little box. Let's try dropping the mask expansion down by, say, two pixels. Has that got it? Okay, cool. And that's quite nice. It's just a nice shock of red, isn't it? Uh, of a different colour. Yeah. 